The process of designating California's MPAs in state waters started in the Central Coast Study region. In April 2007, after nearly three years of public meetings and analysis, the California Fish and Game Commission, the ultimate decision-making body under the MLPA, approved a plan to establish 28 MPAs, totaling almost 18% of state waters along this section of the coast. Only eight of the 28 were designated as marine reserves, that is, as no-take areas. The MLPA initiative moved next to the North Central Coast region using a similar process. Several alternative MPA proposals were submitted for consideration and in August 2009, the California Fish and Game Commission adopted a suite of MPAs to contribute to the statewide network. These 21 MPAs represent just under 21% of the North Central Coast. In May 2008, Southern California was selected as the third of the five regions for designation of a set of MPAs. This region may be the most challenging of the five because of the much larger coastal population, the more developed coastline, and the more diverse and intense uses of coastal waters and resources. Identifying which areas within these regions deserve to be designated as MPAs deciding how many MPAs there should be, how large they should be, how far apart, and the level of protection they should have often is controversial because of the numerous and sometimes conflicting interests of stakeholders. Scientists play a key role in providing information to stakeholders about which areas are most important for maintaining healthy marine ecosystems. Stakeholders make the recommendations for the MPAs and include not only those who make a living from the ocean, such as commercial fishermen, but also those who use the ocean to boat, swim, sail, dive, fish, bird watch, or simply to enjoy the beauty of the ocean. In the past decade or so, management of spaces including MPAs, has been recognized as a valuable complement to traditional fisheries management strategies that focus on single species. Designation of MPAs is only the start of the process. Long-term monitoring and research are needed to assess the efficacy of California's network of MPAs and to guide whatever adjustments are necessary to achieve the stated goals. For some species, the benefits of MPAs may be observable in a short period of time. For others, it may take a decade or more. The sizes of areas designated as marine protected areas is important. They can be very large or quite small. And if they are designed to protect marine life, they need to be part of a well-designed network to provide for the movement of fish and other sea life during various parts of their life cycles. More than a hundred years ago, the United States created a national park system to protect special places on land for wildlife and future generations. Today, California is leading the nation in its effort to protect special areas of the ocean for sea life and for future generations. There are many steps we need to take to ensure the sustainability of our ocean and its wildlife designation of a network of MPAs along California's coast is an important step. Its success depends upon having people like you, me, and our neighbors and friends involved. What we do for our ocean and its inhabitants, we do for ourselves and for our children and their children.